friends, welcome back to my channel, or hello if you are new. Today is a super exciting video because we are kicking off my fall shop with me series for 2023. Of course, we're going to start out by shopping at Hobby Lobby and seeing what they have out. I know a lot of times they will pull out the same stuff year after year, but I went shopping yesterday and let me tell you, they had some really good new fall finds. As always, I'm trying to go for that high-end look on a budget and that goes for my seasonal decor as well. And I'll walk you guys through the store, going through the aisles, showing you my favorite finds, as well as ideas on how to style those pieces. I'll also try to show you guys the prices and know that everything is 40% off that is fall. So I'll show you the original price on the tag, but it is 40% off of that price. It is very early in the season, so I feel like it is fully stocked. They have everything out, all their fall florals, all of their table decor, pumpkins. They've got a ton of stuff to choose from and they had some really great finds. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this video. Don't forget to like it if you're excited for all of the fall content and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I post a new video. Also, don't forget to stay till the end of the video and I'll show you guys a little haul of what I picked up at Hobby Lobby. All right, we're heading into Hobby Lobby, and when I first walked in, they had a huge fall display. They had a few good finds, these candlesticks and this amber glass vase. But let's head into the store and check out the fall floral section first. All of the fall floral was 40% off also, so I'm just going to show you guys some of my favorite ones. We got everything here, at least to stay alive. And the time that we share makes it all worthwhile. Got this place on. Do you feel that we got something strong? And I saw you. I also like looking at the vases over by the floral section. You can find some really good ones and these are great to use as arrangements for your table center pieces or even on shelves. They also have floor vases that would be really pretty with pompous grass in them for the fall season. In a few of the middle aisles, they had more of their dried natural florals. So here are a few of my favorite finds. I love the wheat. This was actually called a rye bunch. And then I also love this oat bunch as well. And the prices were fantastic. This would give a really natural. Now we're heading over to the fall aisles and like I said, everything is 40% off. So here are the prices of the sales if you want to reference this. But we're starting out with the candles. This one is my favorite. I'll tell you more about it in a bit. But I thought these little pumpkin ones were cute as well. That would be so cute on a table as well as these tall candlesticks. <music> Smiling at me. 
They had a good variety of fall tablescape items and charcuterie boards, but I loved these goblet glasses. I think these will be so beautiful. They also had charcuterie boards and everything you would need for serving as well. And then they did have a really good dupe for a pumpkin platter. They also had wooden pumpkins that I thought were very cute and different spoon rest. Things that were new, I haven't seen these before during their fall um, tableware, so these were some good new finds. Baby, how I need the Sherpa pumpkins were a great deal. You can always remove the pick if you wanted to style them in different vignettes. As always, they had a huge selection of faux pumpkins of all different kinds of materials, shapes, and sizes. I've been warned about you. They said that just one look and I'd get caught too. Cause there's something about So excited to show you all of the beautiful finds. This is getting me so inspired. I have it all laid out here in front of me and it's just making me so, so happy. So we've got a few different bags. I'm going to pull the stuff out, show you guys, show you the prices, even though I probably already showed it in the shop with me portion. But let me know down in the comments below, what was your favorite thing from the shop with me? What stuck out to you? What are you running to Hobby Lobby for or thought was a good deal? So most of this is in the fall section, believe it or not. I did browse through the middle of the store in their like table decor and I even looked at their landscape art pictures i didn't see a whole lot of things that would translate into fall other than of course their vases which i talked about in the shop with me i love getting 
really worn pottery old world looking vases to give lots of texture and that designer look into the space and just swapping the different florals out for the season so i have a few different picks that i'm going to be using to add into vases i already have and switching out the greenery for more fall foliage so let's start with that first up are these little wheat slash pompous grass picks these were 2.99 a piece they do have three like sprigs on them and i got six of these and what i'm actually planning on doing is either one putting a few in some small vases similar to like this one i have next to me i just have a little greenery piece you could pop in some of these stems but hopefully you can see the vision um, you could add a few of those in or another way i'm kind of thinking of using these is on my table decor so whenever i fold my napkins and put them in a ring i can add a little piece of this into the napkin as well or i can just have these kind of laid out on the table if i want to go all out for a tablescape so lots of different ways i can use these picks um, you could also add them into garland if you want or different arrangements you could also add these into a wreath to give it some texture and a different look they had this color and then they had more of a rust orange color as well and here they are up close i think they're very pretty a neutral color and they were such a great price another pick i got in the fall section were these and i thought these were really pretty they remind me of cattails they are more of that rusty orange color, which I love bringing in into my decor. And you'll see that throughout this video, I kind of keep that really pretty neutral color scheme. But I thought that these were really pretty and unique. I've never seen them before. These were $3.99. And again, like I said in the beginning, everything was 40% off, even the florals. And this would be a cute little arrangement on its own in a little vase. You could use this on a shelf, on a coffee table, next to your kitchen sink in a vignette so many different ways you can style these and you can make it fuller or you could just use one single stem so here it is up close I think it's a really pretty color and I like the color of the greenery as well it's definitely very muted and I think this looks very pretty mixed in with this color too the only bad thing about this one is it does shed the other one doesn't shed as much but i have this color like all over me right now so keep that in mind i think these colors are so pretty together another pick were some feathers and i was going through my fall pinterest board and getting some inspiration and i found a lot of feathers mixed in with the decor and i thought that's such a good idea so i went to the dried floral section this wasn't in the fall so these weren't on sale this week but these were a dollar 99 per pick and i got three of them to put with different arrangements i probably wouldn't use all three of the feathers together but you can see it just kind of gives a nice variation gives it a more natural look here it is up close it naturally has those fall colors it does have some feathers at the bottom but i'm planning on hiding those when it's tucked into the arrangement now for some larger stems i picked up two different kinds the first one is this one here and i grabbed two of these so let me show you what it looks like with just one there you can see these i feel like are so pretty one you could make a faux tree out of this if you wanted to i think that would be stunning the branches are a really pretty color and it wouldn't take very many to give a really like whimsy really pretty look um, these were $8.99 originally so such a great deal and i thought that these were very unique i love adding in different types of textures into my floral arrangements and i thought that this was just so beautiful and let me show you with it mixed in with some leaves how stunning is that i love this combo throw in some feathers i think that would be gorgeous so this is another fall stem this one is very large again if you wanted to make a faux tree you absolutely could but stay tuned i've got a little something to show you i love the colors of these leaves this is the color scheme that we're going for this year these were 17.99 originally but 
you get a ton of leaves on one stem. So I feel like that is a good deal with the 40% off and you can spread the stems out to make it look more full. You could use three of these to make a tree. You could have it whatever height you would like or they already have trees made up. So this was $49.99 originally, so 40% off, it was $30. And I feel like it is stunning. It's the exact same leaves, same color as the stem. The only difference is the stem is a little bit different of a color. So here are the leaves on the pick the single stem and you can see the stem has some like white throughout it. So it looks a little worn. The tree is probably, it's a three foot tree. The stem on this one is more of a just regular brown. It doesn't have as much of that white on it. So it's really just a personal preference, but I thought this was beautiful. I can't get the whole thing in the frame but I'm planning on placing this in a large basket. You could even um, set it on a stool in a basket to give it a higher look. But I thought this was such a great deal for $30. You could also, if you wanted to elevate your front porch, you could get two baskets. You could get one for each side of your door. You could also put some lights in there to shine up at night. I think that would be stunning and such a really pretty look to elevate a front porch as well. But I love these. Such a great find. And another trick, which I'll share in my fall decorate with me videos, but if you have um, a bunch of leaves already and you don't love the color say they're bright orange a color you're not really drawn to anymore i always suggest painting them refreshing them that way so you don't have to buy a whole new garland I did that a few years ago where i spray painted a bunch of leaves and garland that i already had that were a really bright orange and i spray painted them to give this kind of look you just need to make sure you get matte paint and pick a sunny day they'll dry super quick paint them outside and you can have a different look without spending any more money other than the paint which is going to be a lot less than actual garland now let's move on to pumpkins which is always so much fun speaking of picks these little pumpkins were in the picks aisle these are little mini sherpa pumpkins which are so cute like these were all the rage last year and definitely give a softer look so i'm actually not planning on keeping the pick in the pumpkin i'm just going to pull it out and then i'll be able to use this pumpkin in little vignettes next to a sink on shelves layered in they have this cream color and then they also had this really pretty brown so here they are close up they have jute around them and they also have jute at the stems these were originally $4.99 so a great deal on each of these so i grabbed four of them and i'm planning on placing them in like bathrooms like I said on shelves maybe on our table we'll see but I thought these were so cute and I love the curly Sherpa material I know you guys have probably seen the pumpkin pillows that were very popular last year fun fact I actually bought all of the supplies to make them but I never actually ended up making the pumpkin so that's on the agenda to do this year but I saw this one at Hobby Lobby and I thought that is so cute and it was such a great deal. This was $12.99 originally. So such a great find. It has the soft top and I love the color of it. So I'm so excited about this one. I feel like it's pulling up more orange on camera than it actually looks in person. It's more of a true dark rust brown. So I love these just layered in on a couch. You have all your pillows and then you just prop this one up next to it. Another version of the sweater cozy pumpkin pillow is this one here this one is also very soft the stem is also soft it's just a jute wrapped around some fabric and this one is much larger than this one but still so cute and they would even be cute layered together on a couch but this one's more of just a true chocolate brown it's so soft and this one was $25.99 originally so here it is close up both of these items i believe are new for hobby lobby as far as their ceramic pumpkins go i love looking for ones that look very realistic and i found two that i absolutely love so the first one is this one here it's more of a flat pumpkin it has a really cute unique shape 
and I love the stem. It's a little bit curly and it's taller. I think this is so realistic and it was originally $24.99, so I think I paid $15 for it which is a great deal on a realistic looking pumpkin like this. So here it is close up. This would be adorable stacked on some books on a shelf. You could create any kind of vignette with this. You could have it on a coffee table with a candle and like a floral arrangement. You could use this anywhere and <laughs> it would be so cute. And then another one to go with it is this one here. This is more of an orange color. It's more of that Cinderella pumpkin look. Look at this stem. It is so cute. It's like curled up at the top. And again, this is a really cute, unique shape. This one was also $24.99 originally. So here it is close up. I think it's so cute. The stem is totally what got me on this one. And I paid a lot more than this at Kirkland's last year on their realistic looking pumpkins. And I feel like these are just as good. I always am a sucker for the fall smells. When you walk into Hobby Lobby, it just smells so good and nostalgic and just gets you in that fall mood. There's one specific candle scent from Hobby Lobby that I love getting every year. This is the Heartland Harvest Candle and it smells so, so good. Let me read you the notes on here. Candied ginger, fresh nutmeg, buttered maple, cinnamon sticks, stewed apple, apricot nectar, baked accord, vanilla bean, and brown sugar. It smells so good. It smells like a fall baked good, but it's not overpowering. It burns so good. It smells fantastic. And I think the packaging is really cute as well. So here's the packaging on it. It also came in a few different other packaging choices. This one was $8.99 before the sale. I'm gonna have to hold off on burning it because I'm not decorating for fall for a little while yet, but I am dying to burn this. Moving on to tableware, and this is the last section of things that I purchased. I did wanna look for some new placemats for our table. I found these placemats, and I feel like these give such a unique feel. I feel like these are a good find for Hobby Lobby. They're woven. They kind of look a little vintage. They have the fringe on the ends and they're a cream color. They're not stark white. And I just love these. So these were originally $6.99 such a great deal for placemats. They're also thin, so I thought this would be very cute to layer on a place setting for fall. Kept my table very simple and minimal, but for fall and Christmas, I like to go a little bit extra and make really fun tablescapes. So these are really good, and these will also be great year round as well. And then I found some really pretty chargers that would be stunning for fall. They're like this copper color and I thought this looked very designer and high end and these ended up being like a little over $2 a piece. They were originally $3.99. They have this dot detail on the edge. And again, if you already have chargers, you could always spray paint them to give this kind of look if you don't love the color of them. But I thought that these layered together with some of the fall foliage so you can kind of see the vision. Our table is a walnut, so it's a darker wood. That's why I thought the lighter placemats would pop on it a little bit more than darker ones. And I thought this would kind of bring in those darker moody fall colors as well. So I love those. And then my favorite part are these goblet cups. So here they are. It's this beautiful brownish amber color. These were $8.99 originally, but I feel like these are gorgeous. I love the color. They definitely give a vintage vibe. And I have so many tablescapes saved on Pinterest that I'm excited to recreate. I love to use these. I've washed them in the dishwasher and they've held up great, but I love this darker color for fall. All right, guys, that is everything that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. I hope you got inspired seeing all of the things that they have out for fall this year. I am so excited to start decorating, but I have a few more shop with me's that I want to do. So I have lots of fall content planned for this this year. Thank you guys so much for spending some time with me today, going shopping, dreaming of all of the fall things that are in the coming months. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any other shop with me's or decorate with me videos for fall. Let me know where you would like to see me shop at next and I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all soon in my next video. Bye friends. Mm -hmm.